Hello, hello, and good morning. What's up, everybody? Here we are in Jersey City. I used to live up there. That's Ogden Ave that I used to have a house on down that way. And here I am in front of a beautiful, uh, I guess it's a some kind of maple tree, but something you don't see in the uh, country a lot, but a lot of roots. Just exposed because numerous kids have been playing underneath this tree and my phone's getting wet. Um, Eddie, don't eat anything. But just uh, it's the last day here in Jersey City before we go to Curebra, Puerto Rico, and then to the rainforest of Puerto Rico to visit Lorena's family. So just out here walking Eddie for a quick morning walk. Hope he poops, I got a couple things to do. And uh, sorry the internet uploads haven't been consistent. The uh, internet here really is horrible on my cell phone. It literally took a day and a half to upload that last uh, video with Mara. And it wasn't that great of a video, but whatever. That was the time, the audio, whatever. I don't have professional camera equipment. So let me get out of the rain. Um, Eddie, get, don't, he's trying to escape. Let me get out of the rain, let me go upload some videos, see what happens, and uh, I will see you guys later. Here I am in my former habitat, Jersey City, any kind of city. I forget the artist's name, but he's a cool guy. That's really cool. So yeah, I'm just here. Heading off to Puerto Rico soon. Just want to shoot a little bit of uh, Central Ave before it completely is gone and changed. Something else. It looks like those things are already happening. Let me show you. This was the police station. Oh, I guess it still is for now. He lives down there. He's full of fish in the world. And he's peed on these rats just before. Some local grown asparagus. I think that's a lie. Pretty sure it's a lie. But this is the Jersey City. So here's the upper level of 139. And it just ends right there. And that's all open. Which is not going to be probably for long. So it's a rare sight, people. I don't know if you're excited, but I am. We're heading to the airport right now. That guy was gonna drive us, but he said, I can't take you in a Jeep. So it's just us. And Logo is here. What's up, Logolicious? Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, this is fun. Oh, I can't see it. It's hard to film while driving. There's cars up there. But there's the smokestacks. One of my damage wear stickers is on the one all the way to the left. Can you see it? Can you see it? And there's some on the window too. On top of the power plant. Oh, there it is. That's a power plant that Tommy E, Thomas Edison, he was at the, uh, the inauguration of it. Opening day, he was there, flicked the switch or something. Now this is traffic going to the airport. Oh, there it is. See my sticker? Can you see it? Oh, you can see. Uh, you might be able to see it. We'll see what this camera gets. But uh, I was legally in there. I had permits by the state and PSC and G because it's still inactive. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. We're going to the airport. See those airplanes where they're coming and going from? That's where we're gonna be going too. 
but we gotta sit in some traffic first, so that's it. If necessary, an oxygen mask will drop from above your seat. Firmly pull the mask to extend the plastic tubing and start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic band over your head and tighten the straps. The bag may not be while oxygen is flowing. Make sure your mask is That's our safety. Before it's like a CV show. Meanwhile, back in Scotland. Find a light vest equipped with the water activated light under or near your seat. When directed, you pull the tab through the pouch. Tear the pouch and then pull the vest. I'm glad they're not taking it serious. Wrap the belt around your waist. It's pretty perfect for the car.